hearing, Nick from Bairgineers here and next up we've got unexpected item in baggage area. It's an 8% double IPA from Daya and this is just out so it's only been out in the web store a matter of days um, and a bit of blurb, it's a sticky dipper with a 50-50 split between Citra and Mosaic layers of BBC T90 and cryo pellets form a switchback of tropical fruit and deep green things. So that sounds fucking ace. I'm really looking forward to this. So this should you should this should be so fresh. And I have found that if you buy the day of beers too fresh, sometimes they can be a bit too funky. Um, you know, a, a, a bit too dank um, and, and fried garlic. But I, I really like that now anyway. So um, so yeah, so um, let's uh, and I bought this from the web from the web store. Um, goes for six pound fifty a can, so they put their double IPAs up, so they're quite pricey. But it's there. Yeah. <laughs> what can you say? It's ace. I expect it to be ace anyway. Okay, so it is. We've got what? A couple of fingers of. Dense white head. It's a it's a golden yellowy beer. Pretty hazy. Not you know not as hazy as uh, as some, but hazy nevertheless. Let's go for the aroma. Ooh. So I'm getting more tropical off this. I have to say. Yeah, so I'm getting mango, pineapple, maybe a little bit of hint of citrus at the back, but maybe that's my imagination. Not a huge aroma coming off it, I've got to say. Maybe that's the density of the head. Let's dive in and find out, shall we? Chin chin. So body is light, mouth feels great, carbonation is light. So I'm getting more tropical. Um, mango is more pronounced, a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of citrus, but it, it, it's definitely at the back. And then there's that undertone. It's not overpairing, but there's definitely that sort of green, funky, slightly fried garlic, daya, dank, that we know and love. Yeah. And the dank is coming, coming through the more and more I am. Um, quite intermingled with the, um, with the upfront notes as well. Mm. It's really nice. Um, 8% ABV, it's completely well hidden. It's, it's, it's pretty light bodied as well. There's absolutely no way you'd know you're drinking 8% beer here. Absolutely no way in hell. You know, you'd think you're drinking a four, four and a half, something like that. So, because it's so fresh, I wondered if it was gonna be a bit too funky. It's not, that's perfect for me. So, you know, if you like your day of double IPAs, if you like your day of beers, all I could say is get it while it's on in store now. Um, some of the double IPAs tend to sell out quite quick. Like I said, they've recently put them up in price. That will be that, uh, that tax I talked about coming in from the 1st of August. Came in before that, actually, so I think they preempted that. Uh, the 1st of August tax hike. If you want to know more about that, there's a video on the channel that I did about the new beer duties and alcohol duties that uh, come in from the 1st of August. So seek that out if you wish. 500ml can, which we, we know and love from Daya. So yeah, so rating. Hmm. 
So it's more of a tropical one than a, you know, than a, than a citrus one, I would say on this. So if you like those, go for it. I, I'm going to give this a, a, a resounding 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for unexpected item in baggage area, an 8% double IPA from Daya. Well done, Theo and crew down there in Cheltenham. Uh, we must go back to see your uh, and, and experience your tap room again, like we did last time. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you've had this, you know, um, well, you, 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 at the time of recording this video is just literally out. So fair play to if you if you have had this. If you eventually get hold of it and you try it, let me know what you think. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Put a comment in the box. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Cheers.